Nigeria has an estimated population of over 200 million people and is tagged as the waste capital of Africa. We generate about 43.2 million tons of solid waste annually and it is estimated that in the year 2025 it will rise to about 72.5 million tons. Um, about 70% of these solid waste um, items end up in dump sites, littering our environment, polluting our water bodies and landfills and these are really huge estimates. Now that's what we come in. The Upcycle Architects um, is a social enterprise that creatively addresses some of these waste challenges that we're having. We produce furniture and furnishing pieces all from waste, junk, scrap items, just basically pro um, items that people classify as useless. And um, the, um, our products are, you know, eco-friendly, they're eco-conscious, they're durable, they're very sturdy and most importantly, they're beautiful. So they appeal to people that are, you know, interested in leading sustainable lives. Um, our products appeal to creatives, people that generally want to foster that change. Aside from making products, we also revamp interior spaces, adopting the concept of upcycling. And over the span of about two years, we have taught about 725 women and children, you know, on sustainability and how they can adopt these practices. Now, why we do this is because it's just more or less like um, a way of giving back to the society and then encouraging people to, you know, um, lead sustainable, um, sustainably conscious lives. Now the bulk of our products are handmade and that's one of the main reasons why we are seeking for this fund because we want to expand. Expand to the point where we, 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 we plan on having like a mini factory where we get to produce these items and not do not have to like outsource. And you know outsourcing for machineries and equipment also jacks up the price of our products. So when we have our own, you know, factory, it makes it easy for us to produce these items and then generally reducing the overall cost. Now, aside from um, having a mini factory, we also seek to um, acquire some of these machineries and they're a little pricey, but we have started saving towards, you know, um, acquiring some of them we actually have a few on ground and hopefully if we're able to get sourceful for this funding if we're able to get this funding it will go a really long way in helping us achieve these um equipments and setting up this factory to a level where we are able to produce these products and in the long run um yield the turnover of our products my name is Bilkisa Gerba and I'm the founder and managing director of the, of, of the Upcycle Architect. And please just take a few seconds to view our, some of our products and thank you very much for watching.